Catalina Foothills School District. I saw on the news that you allow 18-year-old men to shower with 13-year-old girls. Is that true? Uh, and... Any student who is uncomfortable sharing locker rooms with others has the ability to request an accommodation. My daughter is fond sharing these spaces with others, but I'm not fine with her showering with grown men. What policy guides you to notify me when a man walks in on my daughter in the shower after cheerleading practice? We don't have a written policy about shared facilities. How does this not violate Arizona's indecent exposure law? Isn't that a class six felony? Uh, uh, our practice is not illegal. So if my child is where she's supposed to be, a girl in the girl's locker room, and a student of the opposite sex undresses or showers in front of her without warning, will I be notified of that? We aren't going to notify families about the presence of a trans boy or girl in a class any more than we would announce a student's sexual orientation, ethnicity, religion, or disability. Ours is an inclusive educational environment. We are committed to creating a culture in which each student feels safe, welcome, supported, included, and connected. I'm not asking for you to notify me of the presence of a trans student. I'm not talking about trans students at all. I'm simply asking if the school will tell me when a man of any gender identity is present with my daughter while she's undressed. Will you at least tell me when another student does this? Well, uh... Look, other parents' children are not within your purview. The reason I've tried to redirect you to any possible relevant personal experience regarding your children it's because that's what interests us, not opinions about perceived problems that need solutions. So let me understand the school's position on this. Okay. You allow men to join girls in school showers, changing areas, and hotel rooms on trips. Yes. Without any warning at all. Yeah. And you won't notify me if a man walks in on my daughter in the shower because that's not my child. That's right. And now you're telling me that I shouldn't share with you my opinion on this? Look, look, look. Our practice is not illegal. Actually, not doing this is discriminatory. I think the non-discrimination policy is important, but I'm not asking you about the non-discrimination policy. I'm asking you about men in the private spaces where my daughter is undressed. Why won't you answer that? As I see it, your request to be informed has been fulfilled. You've been informed of the district's non-discrimination policy that I support. The district's interpretation of that policy as it relates to the issues you raise. You've been informed that the district's response to request the use of a specific multi-occupancy facility is the same, a practice that epitomizes non-discrimination and equal treatment. I don't have anything else to add in response to your inquiries. My concern about men in the girls' locker room isn't addressed in the non-discrimination policy, so there needs to be another policy that addresses it. It's a concern shared by many of your constituents. You've received a petition signed by hundreds of district parents and voters to add this to a meeting agenda. Will you add this to a meeting agenda to discuss reasonable solutions to this problem? After listening to public comment on this topic, considering the variety of emails received from you and other constituents, no board member has requested this discussion be placed on an agenda. I haven't heard anything that would cause me to move away from our practices that are indeed strongly supported by research and the law. I know that you may disagree, and that is where I must leave it. This will be my last communication with you. Goodbye. <laughs> Unbelievable, Barrett.